Hack 3.0 is themed from insight to innovation, and it's really about letting the technology team here have a chance to build something creative and enjoy themselves and uh, do something innovative for us and for our customers. A hack gives you the opportunity to really impact someone's life. We're doing an Amazon Echo integration so that we can submit meter readings, get account balances and ask general questions. We are building a virtual pet called Overgotchi. The health of the virtual pet will be determined by the health of our systems within the company and it will give us a visual feedback of how things are and different ways of interacting with it. Today we're developing an app that will make sure that people who are sharing a flat pay the right amount of the energy that they actually use. We're going to take uh, smart meter data and look at the average customer in a certain kind of group. One of the things you can do with that sort of research is uh, bring down wholesale prices and then pass on savings to the customer. Alexa, ask energy how... Sorry, I didn't understand the question <laughs> I heard. <laughs> We have a front-end application that is built using Angular 2, a back-end system that interacts with the front-end system via WebSockets. While our back-end is written in Scala, we're using Acker HTTP as our um, HTTP framework. We're using Acker Actors for processing data from different sources. I think that's it for now, at the moment. Today, uh, for the backend, we decided to go another way. So we're actually using Node.js and plain JavaScript. This is the first time that I'm actually working with the AWS Lambda Plus API Gateway. It provides very, very easy to use integration with uh, DynamoDB. Now we're five hours in, we've got proof of concept. We split up the work so that we can do multiple streams and we just need to join the bits together. The interesting part began because we kind of went away and ran our first model on that thing. There were three billion entries in that table, so stuff was taking much longer than expected. It's never going to work. Ten hours to go. Uh, we'll probably stay here until three o'clock or maybe all night. It depends on our progress. I got an hour or two of sleep earlier, but a lot of the guys here didn't even get to sleep at all. So I think about eight or nine or 10 people have been here all evening. I suspect there's gonna be a bit of a frantic rush over the next few hours trying to get everything done in time. Not a big morning person. Excuse the slow answers. We might get there, no commitments at this point. Henty was up all night working on the super high-tech emotions engine. Now we've got a way of assigning a personality to our virtual pet. Happy, neutral, sad. Yeah, angry. So it's not angry, angry. Yeah. We have uh, like two hours to fix the main parts of our algorithm. We really are feeling the stress and emotions at the moment. It's really important that people don't let the tiredness or the emotions get carried away. Ding, ding, ding. One hour, everybody. One hour. Third place is actually a really good achievement. I want to go on with this. 24 hours ago, we had nothing proud of this achievement. I'm really pleased with the product we made and I'm looking forward to the next one. This has been the best hack we've done here. I'm really, really thrilled to see everybody get behind the hack, get into the spirit of it. I'm really looking forward to next time around. <laughs>